Hello students, welcome to SV Technology. Hello students, in this JavaScript video series, we are going to learn JavaScript full course step by step. In this day one, we are going to learn introduction to JavaScript, what are the basics of JavaScript, client side and server side tabs. Introduction to JavaScript. JavaScript is a lightweight cross platform and interpreted compiled programming language which is also known as the scripting language for web pages. It is well known for the development of web pages. Many non-browser environments also use it. JavaScript can be used for client side developments as well as server side developments. Here we are going to learn some basic terms of Java. JavaScript JS is a scripting language primarily used on the web. It is used to enhance HTML pages and it commonly found embedded in HTML code. JavaScript is an interpreted language thus it does not need to be compiled. JavaScript redundant web pages in an interactive and dynamic fashion. JavaScript is both imperative and declarative type of language. JavaScript contains a standard library of objects like array, date and month and a core set of language elements like operators, control structures and statements. Here we are going to learn the term called client side. It supplies objects to control browser and its document object model. We call it DOM. Like if client side extensions allow an application to place elements on an HTML from and respond to user events such as mouse click, form input, and page navigation. Useful libraries for the client side are Angular JS, React JS, and many others. Server side. It supplies objects relevant to running JavaScript on a server. Like if the server side existence allow extensions allow an application to communicate with a database and provide continuity of information from one invocation to another one of the application or perform file manipulations on a server. The useful framework which is the most famous these days is Node.j file. Imperative language. Java is a imperative language. In this type of language, we are mostly concerned about how it is to be done. It simply controls the flow of computation. The procedural programming approach. Object oriented approach comes under this like asynchronous, await or the thinking what it is to be done further after synchronized call. Sorry, asynchronized call. Declarative programming. In this type of language, we are concerned about how it is to be done. Basically, here logical computation required. Here, main goal is to describe the desired result without direct detection on how to get it like arrow function to do. Declarative programming is a method to abstract away the control flow for logic required for software to perform an action and instead involves stating what the task or desired outcome is. Declarative programming is a high level programming concept which is the opposite to imperative programming. JavaScript can be added into HTML file in two ways that is internal JS and external JS. We can add JavaScript directly to our HTML file by writing the code inside the script tag. Script tag can either be placed inside the head or the body tag according to the requirement or in external JavaScript. We can write JavaScript code in other file having an extension dot js and then link this file inside the head tag for the HTML file in which we want to add this code. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, the course will be continued up to the completion. Almost I am going to give 100 classes on JavaScript. Please do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This is Mahesh signing off.